Hi everyone, anyone. Um, welcome to this uh, little video about Veller and um, their recent problems. I am um, following and watching avidly uh, Sir, Sir David Jones. I know you don't like uh, when we call you Sir, but I don't care. Sir David Jones, they and uh, also Louis Rossman and um, some other like uh, Big Clive and, and other nice people like that. And um, recently they've had problems with one unit that uh, just fumed. And um, well, it was uh, interesting to follow, no problem, as, as always. And um, well, that was that was it. I was just following and um, yeah, learning about it. When uh, something happened that made me feel like I had to say th something about it. Uh, it's a different issue, but it's still it is quite a great issue in my mind. So. Um, Curious uh, what happened. A little of history here. Uh, here's my normal setup. I use those two irons, but mainly this one because uh, I love working with the with the tweezers. Uh, it to me it is much more comfortable in most situations to work with that one instead of any tip of this one. Um, first, because I yes, I work with uh, SMD, but also because um, um, in some situations, like uh, when going with through hole, um, well, I find it some um, it's easier to to just uh, well, let's take one uh, here when you have uh, a PCB and you you want to solder this, uh, I find it interesting to just uh, take the 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 leg like that and uh, and apply solder to it because it will um, it will uh, heat up evenly and faster and it will be easier to, to manage um, and also to well with solder work you can apply the heat exactly where you want and for as much as you want uh, for the distance and whatever, and I like it. Um, uh, there are many other examples, but I don't want to bother you with that. So I use this mainly. That's my, yeah, my, my preferred setup anyway. Um, I used to work previously with uh, some real shit. Yeah, it was. Uh, and one day I had to work with um, the same setup at a friend's office in Paris. And I, th and I said, I thought, yeah, okay, this, this is much better than what I have. So maybe I should, um, I should invest a bit. So that's what I did. And um, it's costly. Uh, I believe this is 400 euros and this is um, maybe like 200 something like that. So it's uh, 180 maybe, I don't know. I don't remember. Um, but it's it's quite costly. Anyway, um, I worked with it for maybe three months, four months, and it failed. What happened is that um, it would not be recognized, not, not be seen at all. I could plug it, unplug it, never be seen. To, it was very weird. Uh, I could uh, take it, this one here, not seen, then this one was always, uh, this iron was always seen on both uh, the entries of this, uh, of this station, no problem whatsoever. So yeah, I thought that must be it. As it was under warranty, I did not want to open it, of course not knowing what was inside, if we would um, void the warranty or not. So I called Radio Spares, uh, from whom I bought it. Well, I don't know, my English is not that good. Uh, anyway, please uh, pardon me. 
And um, they said, yeah, okay, but it will take five weeks. Five weeks is a lot, lot, lot to me because I mostly work with that. So I had to work five weeks with this and it was a pain. But I did it anyway. And uh, five weeks later, I got the tweezers back. They were working. They said that they were uh, changed. So I had new ones. I, I'm not sure I really had new ones. I don't know, but that's what I said. Um, and I worked again. I was happy. And everything was fine. Then three months later, maybe something like that, it failed again. Same symptoms, same thing. Not seen here. Um, wherever I would plug it, not seen. So I called again. I said, yeah, second time. So I think, I think that maybe there is um, something going on that is uh, a bit more than just uh, a simple problem. So maybe you should look it uh, uh, from closer. And um, well, they said, okay, but it will take five weeks again. So be prepared. I said, okay. <laughs> Still, it's a big problem to me that I will not buy another one in the interim. And uh, uh, well, just wait and um, suffer in silence. And it came back five weeks later. And with the... Um, with uh, the, the tweezers, I had a little paper uh, from the, the people that uh, did the investigation somewhere in Paris. I don't remember the name of the of the company and the guy, but um, well, at least uh, I had an answer. But uh, <laughs> unfortunately, the answer was just, yeah, it works. Yeah, I plugged it and uh, it works, so it's okay. Send it, send it, sending it back to you, and uh, maybe it's the base station that is having a problem, which I don't believe because um, taking this uh, iron to the other side will work. So I did not believe there, there was a problem with the station. But anyway, uh, it was working. I was mm, not really happy by the. Uh, how it turned out, but well, okay. At least it was working. I could work also, so I did work, work, work. And uh, yesterday, it failed again, third time. And I did not want to spend uh, five weeks again waiting. And um, there was this issue that they've um, found. And um, well, I said, okay. Let's have a look inside. Again, I'm not an engineer, but uh, I I know I can smell a, a problem uh, when I do something. And there is something here that I would not have done. And here's what I found inside. Put this aside. I'll take this. Oh boy. And open this one. So, oh, as you can see, I already did open it, and I did not put it back correctly. Yeah, anyway, reassembly is maybe one with two elements can cause problems. And here's what I have. If we look closer, we see that inside. In this case, we have um, metal coating that is done. So we have maybe copper and foam, silver, whatever on it. And it's just falling apart. It's bubbling and falling apart. And those, I can tell you, are conductive quite a bit. Um, so this is conductive, this is moving around, and this is what you have inside. 
PCB components and for the components. So I do believe clearly that this is what caused my problems. The coating inside is just yeah playing free inside and making shorts like this. See? Funny. Um yeah. I'm not an engineer, but metallic coating with a PCB and no protection I would not have done this. No, I don't believe I would. It's pretty dangerous. Well, I don't know if this foil is thick enough to, to cause a fire or a burn or whatever looks very thin but ah, at least it can cause problems on the components as you can see yeah. so I don't know what I will do right now uh, maybe I will brush it away or use uh, acetone or I don't know what I can use to remove it and be sure none is left But clearly, I do believe that this that coating is is causing my problems. I don't know if it's a bad design. Maybe you, the, the reason for this could be uh, to dissipate heat or maybe shielding. You might. I don't know. But clearly, it has a problem. I don't know if it's been correctly applied or if heat caused problems. And clearly, it's, I find it pretty bad. Maybe the idea was good, but I don't know. I really don't know. So here is my problem with the Veller. And here is why I'm, I do believe I will not recommend Veller to anyone uh, because no, even on the customer support, I I find it hard to believe that some of those people were were able to dismiss a, a problem that comes a, a third time, a uh, second time. Sorry, third time is right now, and I did not contact them for that. Maybe they will see it this time. I don't know. But, well, well, really clearly, I don't think it's quality here. I do not believe it's quality and security. Well, anyway, have a good night, everyone. <laughs>